It happened last night when I came home. My car, if you pull up in the driveway, the lights shine right on the barn and the barn door was open and I, I did not leave the barn door open. You know, I'm like, somebody's, somebody's been in my barn. So I, I grab a flashlight, I leave the, the lights to the car on and as I get about 75 feet away from the, the open barn door, they come out and it's three Bigfoot. It looks like a large male, a female, and they have a little foot with them. They have a cub. And each one of them has one of those sacks of micro dairy cow feed. I have a, a herd of micro dairy cows. They're prize winning micro dairy cows. They're very small. I, I sell the milk to a Japanese company and they, they in turn like make micro dairy products out of it and sell it as an aphrodisiac. So I also have micro, uh, micro donkeys, very small donkeys. And so each one of them has a sack of feed and they're, they're holding it like this and they're walking that way and they see me and they're right in the lights and all of a sudden they like turn and look at me. They don't move. They're standing there like they're still, like not, not moving an inch. Almost like they're like cardboard cutouts, each one of them. It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. It was like they were frozen. They were like frozen. I swear to God, they weren't moving. And so I'm like, well, that's my opportunity. So I shot, I shot at one, okay? I, I shot at the big one. At that point, when I shot at the big one, they were still frozen. They're not moving. They're just standing there like that. And I'm like, well, I shot again. Same thing. And all of a sudden, the big one drops the sack of, of micro dairy cow feed, right? And all three of them, it's, it's like they disappeared into a trail of smoke almost. I, I don't know how else to describe this. It was like they were frozen, he drops the sack of feed, and then they all took off. Now they each, two of them, the little one, had a bag of feed and so did the female. But I hit, I hit the big one. The, the, it was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It was like they, it was like a, a trail of smoke, sort of. It was like they were moving so fast, you could just see them as a blur. And they, they went, they went around the barn that way. That's the way that they went. And it was just like a trail of smoke. It was like they cloaked or something. I don't know how else to explain it. Now, there's right over here, there's, there's blood. There's a puddle of blood from where I shot the Sasquatch. There you can see the blood left over. It's, it's, it's all congealed and shit. I mean, I, I hit that motherfucker. It, it, it's, it's no doubt I hit it. Oh yeah, that's Sasquatch, all right. Yeah, that's definitely Sasquatch. Oh man, that's good. That's clearly blood. So, it's wounded. And if you can wound a Sasquatch, if they bleed, you can kill them. It doesn't matter if it's an alien. If they come back, I'm going to finish the job. My father shot a Sasquatch in 1953 with Morty Lucas. I may be legacy. I may be able to kill one too. They keep coming on my property. Oh yeah, that's Sasquatch blood on that rock and in that grass. That's definitely Sasquatch. Cornell University is on their way out to take samples here, take samples of this blood. And Cornell is cataloging all DNA specimens from Yetis, Bigfoot, Sasquatch, from around the world. They're making a, a big DNA catalog. And as a reference point, they're using the DNA that they got from the Bigfoot that my father and Morty Lucas shot in 1953. Dr. Dirk johnston sin is lead investigator. And so he'll be out later. He's, he's on his way out right now with the team. And it's, this is very important research. This is more proof that Bigfoot and Sasquatch does exist. Now, whether it's an animal from this planet or it's from another dimension, I don't know. All I can tell you is there is no animal on this planet that can move the way that, the, that what I saw last night, it appeared that they were cloaking 
or moving so fast that they became it looked like a mist for lack of a better word it was like it looked like a mist like a vapor and as they went around the corner like the vapor sort of disappeared you know i i don't really know what to think all i know is this is that if 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 they bleed they can be killed and my father shot one sasquatch bleed they can be killed they can and sasquatch might be an answer to a lot of our problems on this planet health benefits from eating sasquatch meat sasquatch blood there's no telling there's no telling